the highest honour to which a, a pastor can aspire is to be a servant of the people of God. What qualities are we inculcating in the men who spend their formative years at Westminster that would equip them to shepherd the people of God? I think the greatest quality is the grace of servant-heartedness. Jesus said, I'm among you as one who serves. He, he leads the flock of his people by serving them. He laid down his life for us. And so Paul writes to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 5, um, we preach not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. Pastors are servants of the people of God. In fact, in that verse, Calvin strikingly says, the highest honour to which a, a pastor can aspire is to be a servant of the people of God. The highest honour. That would be my greatest desire for myself. I can't want for others what I don't deeply want for myself. That men go into the pastorate uh, preaching authoritatively, ministerially, passionately, but people recognize he's our servant for Jesus' sake. How do we train men who are servant-hearted? Servant-heartedness grows out of union with Jesus Christ. John Owen wrote very strikingly that a failure to appreciate our privileges is our sin as well as our trouble. And the greatest privilege we have is that we have been united by God's grace through the work of his spirit to his son, Jesus Christ. The very first servant song in Isaiah, as the Lord begins to paint the portrait of the serpent crusher, the promised one, astonishingly, God's answer to the futility and darkness of the world. Behold my servant, whom I uphold. This is the model that the Lord presents to the church. And so Paul can say to the Philippians, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. But I actually like the authorized version made himself of no reputation. He clothed himself in servanthood. And that's to be the hallmark of an authentic gospel minister. He's the servant of the Lord, and by dint of being the Lord's servant, he's the servant of his people.